for the cheapest, fastest, most reliable muck coins in the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniff of the Man. She's always got another Madden 23 preview for you guys today. So in today's video, I'm going to be focusing on franchise mode. I'm going to show you guys the teams that have the best young, talented rosters, uh, the most draft capital, or the most salary cap money to spend in free agency, which will make these teams easy fixes to turn from bad teams into dynasties. As always, if you guys want to see more videos like this, hit the like button, let me know in the comment section. Other than that, let's go and get right into the video. The Chicago Bears are a pretty decent option when it comes to a team like this. They do have some good young players like Justin Fields, but the reason that I'm ranking them so high on this list, the Chicago Bears have the most cap space in the league. They have almost $90 million in cap space in 2023. Next up, we have another team that's got a ton of cap space like they typically do and a pretty talented young roster. You have a young quarterback that you can work up and have a lot of success with similar to the previous team. Unlike the Bears though, this team has a lot more talent already. I mean, they have a couple of good running backs, a couple of good receivers. Devontae Parker's a great addition, even though he's not necessarily the fastest guy. The most exciting guy to, to add to this roster is going to be Tyquan Thornton, their second round pick. Six foot three, 97, 98 speed, somewhere in that range. I don't know what the official number is. They always have some pretty good tight ends, pretty good offensive line. The defense is usually pretty solid as well. They will have $53 million in cap space going into the 2023 offseason next up we got the seattle seahawks now this is a team that might not look too attractive off the start based on the fact that they don't have any quarterback i mean you could probably go get a free agent that's better than the quarterback they have they do have um, a first and a second coming to them next year along with their own first and second uh, from the Denver Broncos in the Russell Wilson trade. So they'll have multiple first and seconds in the upcoming draft. And they also have one of the best salary cap situations, the third in the NFL with $52 million in projected cap space. They do have a lot of weapons around their lack of quarterback. They did draft uh, Kenny Walker in the draft to go along with Chris Carson and essentially have a very good uh, backfield tandem. They do have some really good receivers as well. DK Metcalf, we all know about that. Tyler Lockett, we all know he's a, he's a speedster. They, they went and picked up Marcus Goodwin somewhere. I'm not even really sure, but he's an elite speed guy. And they still have Dwayne Eskridge, who I think was their first round pick from last year. So that's four receivers that can work out really well in Madden. Oh, and they also have one of the fastest tight ends in the game in Noah Fant, who they got from the Denver Broncos. So as far as weapons go, they have some of the best weapons, some of the best offensive weaponry in the entire game. Next up, we have the Houston Texans. Now, the Houston Texans are another team. They're, they probably are one of the best teams on this list as far as young talent, salary cap space, and draft picks. As far as salary cap space, they're fifth in the NFL going into the 2023 offseason with about $40 million of cap space. And I'm sure you can create more. They might be first when it comes to draft capital. The trade with Deshaun Watson gets them three first-round picks from the Browns. Here, You will have two first-round picks if you take the Texans over the next two drafts as well as the fifth most capital space. Next up, we have the Atlanta Falcons. Now, this is another team that has a lot of additional cap space. They're going to be sixth in the NFL when it comes to cap space in 2023 with about $32 million. They also have a lot of young, exciting, talented players. Players like Desmond Ritter, who is probably one of the best candidates as far as a quarterback that you could work up over time. It gets to some of the weapons around him. Cordell Patterson's a solid uh, player. He's a superstar. They drafted Drake London. He's the 10th pick in the draft. One of the best receivers coming out. They also have Kyle Pitts, who's a six foot six tight end who's rocking a 91 speed. You get to some of the linebackers. They still have Deion Jones who I know kind of got forgot about for a while because of his injuries. He's still young. He's 26 years old. He's a 90-speed linebacker. And they also drafted Troy Anderson, who's supposed to be really fast. They have him here listed as a 92. Uh, we'll see what that turns out to be. But speed is key when it comes to Madden. They also have some really good secondary pieces as well. Guys like A.J. Terrell, who's one of the best young cornerbacks in the game. And next up, we have the Jets. This is a team that already has a ton of young talent on the roster. They have the former number two overall pick in Zach Wilson, even though he have too much of a impact his rookie year he still has all the physical tools you go to the backfield they actually drafted another running back the year before they drafted michael carter he is a solid option but i think Brees hall is going to be even better you get to the receiving core Corey davis is solid uh, but elijah moore had a really strong rookie year and then they went out and drafted 
Garrett Wilson, who uh, I think is going to be probably closer to like a 93, 94 speed. But at the end of the day, they have a lot of really young talent on this roster when it comes to receivers, especially even guys like Denzel Mims. The offensive line's pretty set, too. I mean, they've spent a lot of first round picks on guys like Elijah Vera Tucker recently, guys like uh, Mika Betton. If they took a guy like Jermaine Johnson late in the first, who should be a solid end for many years. They already have Carl Lawson, who's very solid, too, and still very young. Quinn and Williams, another former first round pick, high first round pick. Then you get to the secondary, and this might might be where they made the biggest splash with Sauce Gardner, who I think was the fourth pick overall. Six foot three, should have a lot of speed, should be a very good player right out the gate. Next up, we got the Detroit Lions. This is another team that has multiple first round picks next year, thanks to the Los Angeles Rams trade for Matthew Stafford. This team makes a list because it does have a lot of young talent. It needs a quarterback. When you get to the weapons around them, though, they're actually pretty set. DeAndre Swift's a very good young running back. Then you get to the receiving core. They added DJ Chark, who doesn't sound like much, but he's six foot four, 94 speed. Uh, they also have a St. Rao had a very good first year. I'm sure get a ratings boost in the second season. And then they drafted Jamison Williams, who this here is listed at 95, but I saw a listing somewhere that had him listed as a 98 speed. Then you get the tight end. TJ Hawkins is one of the best tight ends in the game. They drafted Aiden Hutchinson, who's going to be an absolute stud defensive end for a very long time. Next up, we got the New York Giants. Here's another team. You're probably going to need a quarterback. Everybody's going to need a quarterback. There's a lot of teams that need a quarterback. Uh, Dan Jones is still pretty young, though. I mean, you could try to work him up. Saquon Barkley is still the best running back on the roster and still a very good player. They drafted multiple speed receivers in the last dra two drafts and Kadarius Tony, 93 overall uh, speed. That's the most important thing. And Wandale Robinson, I don't know if he's really going to be 93 speed, but if that's the case, he's definitely a guy worth working up. Darius Slayton's 93 speed, another guy really fast. Kenny Galladay's probably the best receiver on the roster. When you get to the defensive side, they have a lot of talent as well. They had another top five pick in Kayvon Thibodeau, but they also have uh, some really good defensive linemen that are still young. Guys like Leonard Williams, who's a dominant force. Dexter Lawrence, who's a very good player. Uh, and then, like I said, obviously, Kayvon Thibodeau is going to be the prize of this entire front seven, being that he's such an explosive athlete. Next up, we have the Miami Dolphins. Now, this is a team, they do have a young quarterback in tow, but a lot of people aren't really going to be a fan of Tua. They probably aren't going to want to wait around and work him up. I don't know if he has the throw power. He has amazing weapons around him. I've gone over this in multiple videos now. Raheem Mostert, still a young player, one of the fastest players in the game, especially at running back. I think he is the fastest running back in the game at 96 speed. Most of their money's tied up in Tyreek Hill. That's why they're not. I'm not mentioning their salary cap. But between him and Jalen Waddle, you have everything you need at a young receiving core. That's absolutely terrifying. Between those two guys and uh, you know Raheem Mostert, this is probably the fastest roster in the game. Mike Gusecki's still really young, too, and a very good tight end at six foot six with a decent speed. Uh, the pass rush is pretty good too. When you get to guys like Jalen Phillips, who was a first round pick last year, guy you can work up. Uh, they have some good young middle linebackers as well. Guys like Jerome Baker is really fast and. Channing Tindall, I think, was a first-round pick. I might have been a second-round pick. I'm not really sure, but you can see the projected speed of these guys. Then you get to the secondary. They still have a lot of really good secondary pieces as well with Xavier Howard, Byron Jones, fifth- and sixth-year players, uh, guys like Javon Holland, who's coming off of a really strong rookie year. He'll be here for a long time, and even Eric Rowe is only 28 years old. So you got your secondary pretty much intact. And then last but certainly not least, I'm picking the Philadelphia Eagles. That's actually my favorite team. If you guys watch this channel, you might know that. The Jalen Hurts might not be the guy. He might be worth working up. He might not be worth working up. He's definitely got a very elite speed. I'm not really sure about his throw power. They do have a guy that's a very sneaky option. They picked up uh, Carson Strong. This dude should have a cannon for an arm. So between those two guys, you might have your quarterback on the roster or you might have to get one with one of their two first round picks that they have in the upcoming draft. They also have two second round picks in the following draft after that. Then you get to the weapons around the quarterback position. This is really where they shine. Uh, Miles Sanders is a Pro Bowl caliber player. They also have Kenneth Gainwell. They have a lot of young talent at receiver. A.J. Brown, obviously, they just picked up in a trade. He's still very young. He's only 24 years old. Devontae Smith, their first-round pick for the previous season, 91 speed. He's only 22. Uh, Quez Watkins is my favorite, considering he's a 98 speed player, and he's only 23 years old. Then you get to the tight end spot, and Dallas Goddard is definitely solid. They also have J.J. Ortega Whiteside who they moved to tight end. He's an 89 speed, so even though he's a bust in real life, that's elite speed for a tight end. You could easily make that guy into a good player in Madden. Their offensive line is loaded. Guys like Jordan Mulata, guys like Brandon Graham and Fletcher Cox are going to be gone pretty soon, but Javon Hargrave's a really good player. Jordan Davis was their first round pick. That guy's probably going to be an absolute stud. Guys like Josh Sweat coming off a of Pro Bowl year. He's an 85 speed, 24 year old player. Guys like Hassan Reddick, who's going to be more of a pass rusher and really should be using that role. Guys in 88 
elite speed. He's only 26 years old. You got guys like N'Kobe Dean, who they got in the third round, who was supposed to be a, a high first round pick. Then you have guys like Davion Taylor. He's an 89 speed. He's a guy that you should definitely work up and make your user uh, middle linebacker. Then you get to the secondary, and they have a little bit of age when it comes to guys like Darius Slay, but between him and James Bradbury, uh, they have a number, they have one of the better cornerback and tandems in the league. So that's it. That's the list. If you guys want to see more videos like this, hit the like button and let me know in the comment section. I could do top five, top 10 sleeper teams, top 10 defensive teams, stuff like that. Hit the like button and let me know in the comment section. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. My shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my vids and more link in the description below